Hi, this is Jack Downs with a little run through the effects assignment for 240. This is an important assignment because it'll give you the skills you need to process your PSA. I have already downloaded two files from Moodle and made my folders as described in the assignment and imported the PSA file into Audacity. You should listen to it first, but even before you listen to it, let's look at the, the uh, waveform and you'll see, I'll fit it vertically so you see even better, it's unusual looking. First of all, the, the meat of the waveform is very tiny, very small, and there's a, some unusual configuration here. Then these enormous things here. Normally to make things bigger, to add more volume, we could normalize. But normalization won't work if there's something already too big. In this case, it's actually clipping. What are these things? Well, you'll listen to the whole thing. I'll just listen to little pieces of it for you. Um, you see there's some dead air, and then it starts. Be a man, see the doctor. Dead men aren't good. It's that PSA I showed you that I'd written before. Then there's this chunk in here, and you see here the volume is pretty small until. Live longer. But far too many men neglect. That's a sort of faked plosive, but it has the characteristics of a plosive that you have to deal with. Then what's going on over here? In the past year. Or a list of the it's a big table bump or mic bump or mic tap. It's, an, it's a, definitely a sound that you don't want. And another one that would be similar here. So what are you going to do? Well, we start off with deleting. We always want to delete the tip and the tail of blank air. You would have listened to these first to determine that it's just blank stuff. That's your pre-roll and your post-roll. That's fine. Let's get rid of it. We can leave essentially a second or less, probably even less, at the start and the end. Now, we're going to delete these, these big bangs. I can zoom in on them and delete them. I can delete them right from here, though. Now, there's still a lot of blank air left in there, and I'll have to listen to that to hear if I want to sh tighten it up a little more. This one is a little tighter, though, so maybe I do want to zoom in on it and see it more clearly. And there it is, zoomed in. I'm going to just take it out. I'm going to zoom back out again to see my entire project. Okay, so I have, I, this would be a good, a good time for you to save your project. I'm not going to do that in this example, but please save your project into your working folder and keep saving as you go in case anything goes wrong and you crash. Um, you will listen to it again, um, but before you do, you know, let's get some more meat here. Let's get some more size or amplitude, and that's going to be effect normalize. We're going to do a, an early normalization and then a later one. These buttons are fine, all checked. I'm going to make it minus 3. So it's going to normalize it somewhat, but not huge. And I will go ahead and say, OK. I could preview it. So it makes the whole waveform much bigger. I can see that b post of sound right there much more clearly now. I can see how much bigger it is and everything. OK? So I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, so we could deal with it right now, but why don't we to actually follow the instructions, talk about noise removal. Now, if you look in here, in an area where there is dead air, and I'll just zoom way in on that, you'll see it's like there is something there. There's a little bit on the waveform, especially in one of the two stereo tracks. Frankly, um, you probably don't hear anything. If you had really good headphones, um, maybe you would, but we'll use this as an example anyway, and I do want you to try this. I want you to select a little bit of dead air, and then we're going to do, use noise reduction. In, my, in your assignment, it says noise removal. I've changed the name of it to noise reduction. Uh, it's an okay tool. It's not fantastic. It's worth trying. If you have some background hum or some other background noise that you want to try to get rid of, this is how you use it. You select a chunk, which is just the noise, without any words spoken. You get the noise profile. Okay, good. Then you go again, effect, noise reduction. Oh, sorry. Then you either either you select nothing or select everything. I'm going to select it all, control A, effect, noise reduction. And now I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to use that noise profile. It's going to remove everything with that noise profile. And you can play with these settings if you get into this and learn more about it. Um, on most of these Audacity menus, we just use the settings that are provided. However, there's a lot more you can learn about these tools to make them work better or better for your particular case. Um, and I'm going to say OK. 
So what's happening? It's going through that file, and you'll see that that area that had a little bit of noise in it now is completely flat. However, you want to always look to uh, listen again to make sure you didn't damage the file. Sometimes noise removal will damage the file. It'll take out frequencies that you actually needed and make it sound strange. I'll play you an example in class of what something might, how something might sound with bad noise removal. Let's just listen to this for now a little bit. To be a real man, you must live up to your responsibilities. I don't think it damaged it in any way. In fact, it didn't do much of anything to it, but that's okay. Um, now let's go ahead and, and get rid of that, or well, reduce that plosive. We can't get rid of it completely. If you remember, it's actually a word. But. It's the word but. But the B started the but. In fact, the whole thing is really large. So we got to reduce it a lot. And there's different ways you can do it. Let me make this suggestion. Let's zoom in a little bit. Make sure that I am really just looking at the, the big part of the B. I'll go right to there. Okay. I'm going to take that stuff. I'm going to use amplify, which would sound backwards. But we're going to use amplify and make it negative. I'm going to move this slider down to about negative 3, which I think is a good starting point. And it doesn't have to be exactly, whatever. Negative 3.5, something like that. And I'm going to say OK. I could preview, but I might as well just say, okay, I always have control Z's. And I made it smaller. I could listen to it again. It's not going to sound too much different. But it's still pretty loud. I'm going to do it again. Repeat negative amplify. I'm probably going to do it again. I'm going to listen to it again. I might even do it once more. Um, it's gotten smaller. It's never going to get sounding completely normal like this. But at least it's not going to be as big a, an impact. So your idea is to reduce that, to reduce the impact of a plosive. Okay, um, now I'm not going to do this, but I want what I want you to do in the exercise is to go through, oops, sorry, to go through and, um, and listen again, and you'll see there's a, a big gap here. Maybe you want to re remove some of that dead air, and there's actually a very large gap in here. Maybe you want to remove some of that dead air. Um, to, now remember, you don't always, you don't go to every pause and pull, pull time out of it because we need pauses and we don't and if we remove all the pauses it sounds strange and just like one word on top of another but instead we we, we don't want any long unusual sounding gaps either so you'd go through and delete those just by selecting and deleting and listening to it again if you did too much you undo and try it again like that now imagine that you did all that I want to go through some of the other types of what we might call sweetening or other effects that we can apply to, to manip manipulate this file to make it sound better. We're going to use all these, although they're relatively um, extensive, uh, and, well, extreme, I guess. And, and, and in your own PSA, try these. And if anything ever makes it sound worse, then don't do it. Okay, so one thing we can do is equalization. Effect equalization. Equalization depending on how it looks when you first bring it up, it could be in um, this structure here, or it could be in this one where you could draw curves. Um, there's different types of ways of looking at it. But what I just do is I go select a curve. I'm going to use base boost. And you can see what it's doing. It's increasing the decibels of a certain bunch of frequencies on the low end. And I'm just going to do OK. Well, first, I have something selected. Either you want nothing selected or everything selected. If you just have a little something selected, it's only going to apply to that stuff. Effect, uh, and it was equalization, and it was base boost, and I'm going to say, OK, what's happening? It's increased the base throughout. And then you would listen to it and see what you thought. I have a little speaker here. You're not hearing it very well. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit anyway. I'm not sure how much difference you'll hear. In your own files, you'll have your headphones on, and you'll hear the differences. To be a real man, you must live up to your responsibility. It adds a richness and depth in the bass, which probably will help you. In any case, do it for this file. And then what else? I'm going to, again, not select anything. I'm going to go Effect Equalization. I'm going to do a Treble Boost, which takes the low end and brings that up also. As a, I mean, sorry, the high end, the high frequency end, and brings that up also. See how it makes it? You could draw your own curves on here and do special things if you want to. And there's lots of other choices, but these are two I think that work well for us here. It brings that up. You would listen to it again. It's increasing the amplitude of certain part, parts. You would see if you think yeah, it sounds really, good. For this exercise, I think you should, you should try it. You should do it. Just because it adds a little bit more character to the voice. Then you could use compressor. 
and compressor, what it does is it takes the, the low volume stuff areas and helps to bring those up. So again, I won't select anything, effect, compressor. Again, uh, it's doing it based on um, decibel areas in this case, how much it brings it up. The lowest the decibel areas, the higher it brings them up. There are lots of settings. I'm just going to, and I'm going to leave compressed based on peaks correct. I'm just going to go ahead and say, okay, you could preview, might as well say, okay. It's going to go through the whole file. Wow, it's really brought up a lot of stuff now. You see, everything's getting bigger. All kinds of information there. Let's go ahead and play it again. To be a real man, you must live up to your responsibilities. I think it's got even more depth and more interest. Um, we could try, now we're getting into the extreme things. Let's go ahead and use the limiter. We're going to change it to the number of decibels. What this is going to do is it's going to essentially cut off the tops of some of these peaks at a certain level, but without causing clipping and distortion. Effect limiter is way down here. And soft limit is okay. I'm not sure where, you're, where you will be set to. And limit to negative four, is that what I say? Yes, I think it's what I say. That's a good choice. I'm not sure where your settings will be. You might have to change that. Apply makeup gain, no. Um, again, you could learn more about these, but I'm just going to say okay. What that's done is it goes through and it cuts all the tops off, which would allow us to make everything else bigger now again, because now we're going to renormalize. So that wouldn't have changed the sound much, but renormalizing is going to bring everything up, and we don't have any peaks there to get in our way. Now we're going to do effect normalize, but not now negative three. We're going to go to what was our, was our normal final final normalization is a negative one, brings everything up close to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and say okay. So it's brought everything up. Think about the difference between this waveform and what we started with. It's enormous. All right. And I'm going to play a little bit and we'll see. Dead men aren't good providers, fathers, husbands. There's a lot more work you could do with this, but that's a really good start for making voice sound better. Um, I'm going to pause here for a moment and then set up with the other next file is the later part of the assignment. Okay, we were assuming with that earlier file that you saved and you um, went ahead and um, uh, exported it properly um, and that you uh, you had your, your mp3 and that you were ready to put that up on Moodle and so on. I'm not going to do that. You should know it by now. And now, now <clears throat> I have a, the voice edit. You've used this file before. You're going to create two more files for me. This is uh, perhaps a little more fun and less structured. I just want you to try different effects on this file and make it weird or different or, or interesting. Um, so you're going to make two different ones. You're going to start here, make one, and then close it and open, bring it in fresh again and, and go continue like that. Um, so what effects? There are so many effects to choose from. I make some suggestions like echo, wah-wah, change pitch. One that's always fun is reverse. Let's play it first so you remember what it is. From the city of Plattsburgh. For so you remember that, right? What's it reverse to? Well, it reverses it. Now, what does it sound like? Yes, that's weird. Um, so you go through and try these, and then when you find one you like, you save it with a certain name, as it, and, and then export an MP3, and then you start over again with the voice edit again, and do something else to it. So I want you to play with those effects and experiment with them, and then create two more MP3s as a result, following the instructions. Uh, in each case, though, when you're done, let's say you do choose this one, um, yes, you should always delete the tip and tail, and you should always normalize. And I'm going to normalize, and this is a last final normalize, so it's always to negative one, and that would be fine. That would be ready to export. That was one of my examples. Okay, that's the assignment and so on, so have some fun with it.